I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an interactive infographic using Canva. Now, as a reminder for all the teachers, you can get the pro version of Canva for free by going to canva.com education. So here I am in my Canva account, and I want to get an infographic template. Now, I can do this process with any template, but in this case, an infographic is just what I want to use. So let's just do a quick search for infographic, and we'll find all kinds of templates that are available to us. Let's just pick this one over here. So I'll open up this template, and just like any other Canva template, I'll be able to change out the pictures, change out the text that's on it, uh, just simply click on the area that you want to change the text, and you can you know, write in anything you want here. Okay. Call that one a short guide. Okay. And I might want to blow this up just a little bit to make it a little easier for everyone to see. There we go. So a short guide. Now, down here, maybe I want to link into something like this text here. Okay. Let's make this text hyperlinked. So I'm going to change the sizing just a little bit to make it fit a little better. There we go. And I'm going to link the word Italy to a web page, maybe just to the Wikipedia page about Italy, for example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight that text. And in the upper right corner, we'll see the option for link. Put in your link. You can link to any page you want. In this case, I'll link to a video, a YouTube video. Now, that item doesn't appear to be hyperlinked, but it actually is at this point. The trick of this is that in order to let viewers know that it's a link, you need to differentiate the color. So highlight the text again and go up to your text color and choose a color that's typical for hyperlinking, like a blue or purplish color. Now, this link will only work if I use this infographic as a PDF or if I publish it as a web page or include it in a web page. So what I'm going to do is go in the upper right corner, now select Share, and instead of Share a link to edit, Let's say share a link to view. I'm going to copy that link. And for the sake of demonstration, let's open it up and see what that page now looks like. So we now have our little infographic. And you'll see as I hover over there, the word Italy is now hyperlinked. And we'll go to whatever YouTube video I happen to just link to. So that's how you can hyperlink that. Now, I just published that as a standalone little web page. But what I can also do is embed this as an interactive element inside a website or a blog post that I already have. So to do that, in the upper right corner, next to the download, let's open up that drop-down menu. We'll see there's a share link option, but I want to find the embed option. So go to show more and we'll scroll down until we get to the embed option. And there's our embed option. And we'll select embed. And now let's just copy that code. Now, if you're using a WordPress blog, they make it really easy. Just copy that link and put it into your WordPress editor. Or if you're using another platform, use the HTML option. I've copied that. Now let's say I want to put it in a blogger blog, and we'll take a look at how to do that right now. So here we are in a blogger account, and we'll just go to new post, and we want to include that infographic, and we just copied the code. We'll put it into the HTML editor. You can see there's the code. Let's put it Call it sample infographic. And we'll publish it. And then once it's published, when anyone is viewing it, 
they'll be able to click on the hyperlinked elements within that infographic. Now again, this is this can be done with Blogger, with WordPress, or any other site that will accept embedded HTML. So we're going to let that load, and it's a pretty big infographic, so let's make sure that it all loads there. There's the infographic, and we can see, click on it, and there's our hyperlinked element. It's going to load over here as a YouTube video, because that's what we used. Now again, if you want to do this with a WordPress site, you would just copy the WordPress link, go into your WordPress blog, and copy in that link as well. So that's how you can create an interactive infographic by using Canva. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com or subscribe to this YouTube channel.